Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome back to Friends in 2, and we're going to be making our way into a Technicolor Heart. If you remember what Technicolor Heart was all about, it was a brief game that intruded on Volume 12. And the reason I'm doing this is that I learned a little bit from, at least from like the live stream and all that, that there's actually a full game here that can be explored along with the fact that there's a few new elements to be explored. So let's just get right into it, shall we? It contains So this version of Technicolor Heart contains significant additional content compared to the version played during Volume 12. Remember there's no dead ends, no game overs, or wrong choices, just different stories to the experience. Remember, not everything in Mount, Lin uh, Mount Eternia is the way it seems. Looking for love in all the right places. It's a bright sunny Friday in, in June, and you're finally showing up. Yeah, you're showing uh, finishing up your first year as a 22-year-old student at a Mount Eternia College. Nestled in the verdant hills of Mount Eternia, New York, the college is known for its robust art and literature programs. It sure hasn't been an amazing year, full of fun and excitement and various off-screen off hijinks that you definitely remember. But now it's almost time for you to go home. You've spent the day running errands in preparation for your final week of school for the year. A week to cement lifelong bonds of friendship and maybe, you know, to find love. You're starting to realize how hungry you are. You should probably head to the cafeteria to grab something to eat. So let's head to the cafeteria. So there is a little bit of the same beginning because why wouldn't there be? Where should we? Okay, let me just look. So last time we did try to roam into Maverick, which at least in the full act we got that. So we don't have to worry about romancing our good friend or anything like that. <laughs> the college c c the college cafeteria is actually not awful. Like, it's not good by any stretch of the imagination, but it's definitely not bad. More than anything else, it gives students a place to gather and hang out. You can see that in uh, a classmate you met during playwriting workshop, sitting off in the corner by the window. Hey, there she is, your lesbian best friend of the world, in here, incoherent mumbling. Hey, it's you. It's you, alright. What's going on? Professor Zelda wanted to see you, I guess. He's over by the student's affair office. What's she been up to? Edward shrugs and scratches the back of her neck absentmindedly. I don't know, man. Just kinda chillin' today. Everyone's gone, so I'm bored as heck. You two should hang out later. Maybe some play- maybe play some of that new TTRPG Wizard and Orbs? Yeah, maybe later. So, what does Professor Zelda want? Heck if I know, gotta ask him yourself. Oh, you're kind of helping for some exposition? Dude, what the heck are you talking about? Kind of feel off. Vague, ominous, spooky. Love the vibes? Halloween's out for another four months now, dude. No, it's just you feel like something really bad's about to happen. Or already happened, and it might happen again. Dude, that isn't funny. Sorry, it's just been a long day. So where is everyone? You notice that, the, that it looks a little bit empty around campus today. You didn't notice at first because you were trapped in a federal dimension of your own unattended chores running errands for a bunch of people. Bummer dude, sex to suck and all that. So you no idea where everyone went? Oh, heck yeah, um bunch of people went into the midnight city for some show tonight. Not my thing. Edward keeps glancing around like she's ready to head off somewhere else. You good? I kinda got some stuff to do. You suppose you are in fact good. Cool, 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 cool later. And with that Edward's gone. You should probably check in with her later, her being your best friend and all. Sounds like you should probably go see what Professor Zelda wants. Then again, it's probably not important. You're so pretty tired. Maybe you can just go back to your dorm. And there's navigation and your phone interaction. There's been an... Attention all students, there's been an incident near campus and the FBI are currently investigating. Please be advised that travel after dark is not recommended. We'll be making a full announcement tomorrow morning. So yeah, that is the new thing that's actually going on. So... Sometime... Uh, yeah, so yeah, the, the all of these should be the same. Yeah, Trixie wants to write together. Push Kodas, you managed to pass my class. Uh, yeah, there's the PE classes. Softball, Lamira, thanks for helping out the class campus. Kshava, new roommates. Uh, 
uh, just talk about if you actually do uh, I, 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 some of these things should be still in the previous episodes if you want to go through them I'm kind of just skimming over them uh, Malik touch with math, math tutoring uh, let's see Linku veteran's best friend she, okay just Eldworld, talking out. Just talking about King Skyla, what's up? Got cats, take care of them. Uh, Professor Zoto, New Year, final project, scheme did alright. Okay, so. Nothing happening so far. Got all the gifts that I can potentially give to people. Chixie? Sure, I'll potentially care. No. Zephros? Sure, maybe. <laughs> Other world? Friendship. Maverick? Already got you. But sure. If I hang out with you, I hang out with you. Linku? Sure, maybe. <laughs> Lanier? Maybe. Skyla? Sure, maybe. Suba? Friendship. Cloud notes, that's like notes of that stuff, so. Uh, yeah, let's just head to Professor Zoto and see what's up with him. Student Affair Office is a weird looking building off to one side of the campus that looks like a doctor's office. Dean Petrus has a. Excuse <coughs> me? Dean Petrus has, has slightly off, it's better that they run into him. You see Professor Zoto standing out in front of the bank, clearly waiting for you. Hey now, buddy, I told you about that Professor Zoto crap. <laughs> my office is fine, especially since you passed my class. You took that, about, uh, took that class mostly because your friend tricks you, and if you're being honest, it was a lot. Ah, uh, heck, you did alright. So, something bad's gonna happen. Ominous. Yeah, we get a bit, really bad feeling. Something to do with the owner of the cat and cup, you think? I afraid I ain't gonna be able to help you with that, buddy. Got my own stuff to handle. So, what did he need from you? Just wanted to see how you're doing, buddy. Lots going on. Yeah, you're getting the sense it's gonna be a long week. But overall, you're doing okay, you think? Good stuff, my agenda pal. <laughs> you for real? Didn't click on the right thing? Yeah, you like it a lot? Shigayuk? Yeah. See what you did there? Is that supposed to mean something? Maybe. Oh yeah, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Huh, you like playing games. Which is fun because I don't. Aww. <laughs> kind of interesting. So, okay. Good food, freedom, spice, clinginess, sentimentality, stupid game, insecure people. Interesting. Okay, so Lunira. Oh, thanks so much for liking my profile. Now everyone's so, so nice. A lot of them just send weird DMs. <laughs> just, sorry if I kind of had this profile. I didn't really use it much. <laughs> Skyla. She come back down to the cafe. You should talk some more. Sure. Wait, did I want to? Oh, Chixie. Glad I'm not sure I feel like it, but that's nice. Okay, so. Commons, college, and. Let's go to like. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's you. My luck is surely never ending. Then Q enters, rolls his eyes and turns back to the bowl of food he's just eating. Can you join him? Oh, I'm done. Funny, he's not hungry anymore? Because it looks like there's a lot of food left. I'm positively starving to death. So he's not going to finish that? Then Q doesn't look up or acknowledge or continue your presence at all. So how is he doing? I'm fine. Then Q pauses and looks up at you. Thanks for asking. See, the way he says that kind of... No. Put your luck, I'm fine. Why isn't he with everyone else? Oh, you mean that insufferable Midnight City concert thing? Droog and the club... Uh, clubs or club and the droogs or whatever that crap is. He rose his eyes to make a wouldn't be caught dead kind of face. Okay. Guess I'll go to Serva. And here's your home away from home. Sure, it's a bit messy. Kind of small and smells like... 
weed all the time thanks to your roommates, but still you can't really complain. For some reason, you're exhausted. At some point, you should probably lie down and take a nap. Yo, Yumi, I can hear you like thinking right now. Massive distraction. Distraction from doing what exactly? Oh, you know, gaming, streaming, influencing. You said to Super House Monitor, which appears to be dark. Stuff like that. They didn't want to go to the concert? Nah, that's stuff super lame. Midnight City's fine, but there's a lot of poses out there. Concert, pose are central. Gotta keep my fingers on the pulse. The pulse is a small private college in upstate New York. Several looks confused. Clearly, this issue is beyond your understanding. It is my, what it is. My friend's gotta cut it, follow the pulse where it goes. So, how are they feeling? Sephora so shrugs and stares out the window. I'm alright, just thinking. Did I want to talk about it? Again, Sephora so shrugs. Maybe later, just considering like existential stuff. So, something feels really wrong here. My friend, you can't just drop a vague bomb like that and not explain. For some reason, but for some reason, I've been thinking about the owner of the Cat Cup. You mean that Cat Cafe in town? Why? You're not sure. Something feels really important though. But it's probably not though. Alright, well, you know, I'll be here for turns and points. Professor Zola wanted to talk to you. He's such a fossil, stuck in the 1990s. Yeah, you weren't super clear on exactly what he wanted. It was super cryptid experience. Oh, well, he took his class, you know the deal. You know, like, under the influence, lemma, go on. Wait, really? No, I was just, just like trying to spare your feelings. Respect you for trying, though. Is there anything. Yeah, there's nothing really else around, so. Catch some sleep, catch some Z's. Advancing to the next day. So, I guess let's. You know what? Since. I do want to try and hang out with Sky a little more. So, animals, spicy foods, and sweets. So. Do we have any foods? It doesn't look like there's. A hmm. Animals of all kinds, so maybe an animal thing. Oh, and there's sweets. How much money do I have? I don't know. Sweets are good. Okay, and then I'll grab a horror novel book for later. So let's see where to go first. Let's go to the Captain Cup. Cat Captain Cup is pretty much the only place in town to actually sit down and relax. It isn't an expensive restaurant. The exterior is unassuming, mostly brick with quaint turn of the last century aesthetic. Inside the cat and cup is warming, inviting, filled with the smells of cinnamon and coffee. Voted Mount and Turning's best and only cafe for the last three runnings, the cafe is the best only off campus hangout. Skyla Coria, one of Mount and Turning's alumni, has been running the place ever since the owner, Surya Jevic, disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Interesting. Talk to Skyla. You think that Skyla Coria used to attend Mount and Turning at college, but she gra. But she graduated. Wait. Used to attend Mountain, but she graduated. Or dropped out. Either way, she's taken over managing the day to day operations of the Cat and Cup, Cat and Cub Cafe. She's well known for her love of animals, vegetarian dairy, and surprisingly high upper body strength. How's the year so far? About the same as always. Stuff kind of runs together once you're out of school. Last couple of days have really been weird though, for what it's worth. So, interesting, I guess. Skyla shrugs and picks up a mug from under the counter, examining it closely. How's the year been so far? Oh, you're not used to people asking that question back. I was right on the good old Texas small talk, huh? That's what's happening. Well, the year's been pretty okay. You think it's time to settle into this whole college thing? Kinda glad you took the year off before starting. Wish I'd done that, honestly. So she went to school here, right? Yep, at least until a couple years ago I did. Wanted to go to Cornell, but couldn't afford it. Also, my grade sucks. <laughs> well, what was she majoring in? Skylar laughs. You think I had a good sense to declare a major? I was putting that off as long as possible. 
I think I officially coded, they coded it as English maybe? Something awful not specific, but that ship has long since sailed and sunk. Now I'm walking here, which is fine. It's pretty far cry from Texas, you get. Eh, not as much as y'all might think. Bucks of folks, no matter where you go. Besides, if you put near Austin, just as likely as you see a Tesla as a Ford out that way. So, why does she stay in town? Well, that's where we're supposed to go. Not going back, not like going back to the home is a viable option. Besides, I like it here. I like the townsfolk a lot. Well, I guess on my way to becoming one of them, she didn't assume enough. She smiles, she laughs and smiles, her eyes squint at close. Never thought I'd find my way to blocking 2,000 miles from home, but here we are. Does she know a lot of people in town? Scala shrugs. Well enough. Andrea and the, and the garage, helping them out with their community relief stuff. Plus old Damien down at the hot dogger and past your veals at the church up north of town. They come in sometimes to see the cats. So I guess y'all could say I got a certain sense of belonging. So, what does she mean the last couple of days have been weird, though? I mean, maybe weird is an understatement, given that my boss was just found dead. Her boss? It's Katie Ajevic. At first I thought she was just she just decided to take a trip until they find her body. At least the FBI in town is at to help with the crime. Yeah, that doesn't exactly make me feel safer. Why the FBI? You don't know, maybe something about state lines? Skyla shakes her head and leans closer, dropping her voice. Ain't a good sign. They got state cops here for murders, even a little town like this. Bringing the feds in? Y'all don't think that maybe it's something big? So, what's she been up to lately? Working mostly. Got, ain't got much time for anything else. Rent isn't gonna pay itself. Not to mention my boss has gotten nothing from her. Ain't sure what that leaves me. Kinda makes this whole thing a lot more stressful than it needs to be. How's she doing? Busy. Weekends always bring folks in, especially when the tourists in town. Well, let attorneys get tourists. Not to shit on the town, but that's basically your home for last year. But y'all been in here bring during peak season. Pa they practically they practically swarm the lake some campgrounds west of here. So they end up making a pit stop in here from time to time. It's exhausting, and they want to let their damn kids play with the rough with the cats. What did she like to do for fun? Would you think I'm joking if I said working mostly? Well, I'm not sure if she's joking or not. Well, it's not entirely wrong, especially with security again. The whole lot, there's a whole lot, heck of a lot to do around here. When it comes to fun, I don't know. I like hiking and I genuinely like spending time with animals. Those cats back there aren't just for the tourists or us. Skyla smiles warmly. Thanks for asking, most folks don't bother. Does she like movies? I feel like most folks don't like mov like movies, don't they? Ain't exactly a high investment hobby. Well, yeah, maybe some folks don't like movies. Maybe she's one of them. Nah, my taste might run a little sweet, but I ain't one to turn to ain't one to turn down a good popcorn flick. Wanna read any good books lately? Eh, ain't much for that. It's mostly just read cheesy romance fluff, it's sweet as cherry pie, and I love them up just the same. I'm not sure how you feel about that. It's almost like your actions are largely just dictated by forces outside yourself. Ain't that a move, though? That's the whole point of why I read or do anything like that, to try and get away from the world for a bit. That is, as she said, a mood. Well, what kind of moves, music does she like? Is she like into country music? Okay, from the way she's saying it, you feel like the answer is probably no. Depends. Grandpa around enough good old boys with pickup trucks that ain't lot isn't much interest. No, music isn't really my thing, honestly. Well, thoughts are noisy enough without all the other stuff bouncing around. Well, what are you doing there for the summer? Well, I ain't school, so my plans for the summer are exactly the same as always. Except we get a heck of a lot more tourists after college for Khalif, so that's fun. Skylar rolls her eyes and makes a face that implies this is not in this is not, in fact, fun. What else I'm gonna do? Starve to death, move back at home with my crappy folks. So, does she wanna hang out? Hang out? You mean like on a date? No, well, maybe you like them and, but well, yeah, sure, I could use a distraction. Oh, that was easier than we expected. Can't be here. I can't be around here with just my thoughts for company. Get some pleasant. So why don't you help me keep my mind off things? Yeah, sounds good, I can do that. Hope you like walking. What does she mean by that? Come on. 
I can certainly walk. <laughs> so as you step out of the cafe, Skylar turns a sign on the door around so you close and looks and locks it behind you. I spend my out my lunches out walking. Not a lot of chance other than that to stretch my legs. Where does she like to go walking? Skylar gestures toward the forest that borders the town. Out there. Usually keeps my mind at ease. Although uh, uh, after what just happened, she shudders slightly. Ain't like there's anything I can do about it now. Come on. Yeah, it's definitely kind of wild that there's just been some super mysterious forces at work. Because it's definitely not natural by any stretch of the means. Since what else is there to say about that, I guess? <laughs> But as you cross the threshold from the edge of town into the woods beyond, everything gets quiet. But you notice the sounds coming up to meet you. The sounds of birds and small things in the undergrowth. Love it out here. Not like Mount Attorney is ex not like Mount Attorney is exactly what I'm used to. Eh, not that surprised by that. So the way she speaks, there's a slight rolling drawl to her. You can't place the accent exactly beyond southern. Not too surprising by that. So, Skylar takes a few steps forward and stops. Your jaws work as well as your eyes. You stop and blush. Were you staring? You didn't think you were staring, but. <laughs> Skylar laughs and slaps me. Nah, I'm fucking with you. But I get. If I get to talking, y'all yeah, don't stop me. Yuri's likely to fall right off. That she worked at the ca cafe for long. Skyla takes off her fingers. Yeah, I don't know. A couple years now? Miss Jivek hired me on. Wish she hadn't. Yeah, you know. Skyla shakes her head. Damn shame is what it is. So does she like working at the cafe? All the cats she can eat? You know, like, out in the mouth, Skyla? Okay, you beefed into that one pretty badly. Skyla <laughs> But Skyla grins at you. How funny. Wish I had you around every day making this place less boring. Glad you think so. Sure as heck is I do li liven up my days. Does she come out to the woods every day? Just about. Sometimes I go up to the foothills north of town. Depends on my mood on a given day, I suppose. She reaches out and gra grabs a stray tig, snapping it in half with her fingers. This place ain't exactly big city, but it's so nice to get out into nature. Helps me stay centered. You can understand that, you think? That's good. Plus, I love seeing all the trees above me. Makes me feel safe, I guess. She laughs, slightly nervous, and brushes off a stray piece of hair away from her face. Does she ever feel lonely? I mean, yeah, of course I feel lonely. lonely. We all don't. Well, yeah, sometimes. You think everyone feels lonely sometimes. But it sounds like she's grappling with something more than just a passing feeling. Well, you know. She glares heavily at you and then fear her face relaxes. <sighs> You're right though. Half my friends gone after they finished school. I only stuck around because what else is left? I don't want to go back home. At least I had some friends in town to spend time with. That, that's rough. But you know how it is. You get to work and eventually that's all you have the time for. You have several questions about trees now. Well, maybe not trees specifically, but nature in a more general way. Skylar is squinting. Well, okay. Uh, you're just trying to get a know better. You see Skylar's cheek flushes a little bit. Oh shoot, I'm getting some not used to that. Most folks just kind of act like I'm a prop in their lives, whether they know it or not. Yeah, I guess you can see why that would hurt so much. Yeah. She clears her throat and stares up the com leafy canopy overhead. Anyway, I got a clue about these darn things. I just know I like the look of them. Well, you're pretty sure that's good enough. Skylar grins. Heck yeah, it is. But, yeah, you mostly spend your time inside. Yeah, I figured as much. Hey! Wear the same ratty clothes basically all the time. I heard Edward mention you are her stream a few times. She heard Edward? Wait, you have additional questions. What's she doing listening to Edward streaming? Ain't much else to do when I'm stuck at work. It's funny when she gets mad at the games and starts making up cuss words. Oh yeah, I guess that's pretty funny. Well, are you glad to be get getting out right now? Yeah, you are. It's nice out here. And you hardly spend time in the woods. Glad I could help you do something new then. Thanks for uh, talking to me so much. I know I'm not always the most engaging person. Well, that's silly. You had a good time talking to her. Thanks. It's a lot to me. 
shoot, it's getting awfully late. I should head back to reopen. Oh, yeah, she's right. You'll walk back with her. We walk back to the cafe in silence. Not really feeling the need to fill it with anything in particular. Well, this is where I get off. You should probably head out and leave with me to it. I had a nice time with y'all, you know? We did too. Maybe some other time? Skylar grins and reaches out to Josh's leaf shoulder. Sure thing. Let me know when I... I'll let you know when I got a minute. Hey. Got a question. This is from Super. Got a question. If you guys say it, let me out. What's up? 2009 film by Pixar. Seriously, emotional stuff. Gets me crying every time. Is there a point to this? Put down the phone for a second. Why to keep them from against the earth's rock? Right? But what do you need? Oh, right. Wanted to know if you'd be down to help me stream with, with my streams. Life's lonely at the top and all. Like, I have so many trolls. Okay. Yeah, I'll help them out the streams. Okay, so from campus, attention all students, FBI are currently investigating a violent incident which took place on the 8th of June. They have advised all residents to remain inside whenever possible. The local governments will be providing resor resources to assist in their investigation, and we encourage all students to report anything unusual to directly to Special Agent Entech at the user residence. Hey, got something you might enjoy if you're interested in helping out, miss. Oh, what do you have in mind? Meet me outside the cabin tent sometime this afternoon, I'll show you. Ominous. Shut up, I'll be promise it's worth it. Well, Skyla. Wait a second, let me check my. Never mind. Yeah, so. Oh, so it's any time. Okay, so not today, but later. Talk with Skyla. So. What's their accent from? Can't quite place it. Skyla grins broadly. Central Texas from Plouferville, right outside Boston. Okay, that cannot possibly be a real place. She's messing with you, right? Ain't messing with you. Place as real as you or I. <sighs> no, she's gotta be messing with you. Hey, that sounds got literally 60,000 60, folks living in it. Oh, that's actually a lot bigger than you, you were expecting. You damn right it is. So, did she drop out of Mount Eternia? Skyla doesn't answer right away, and since she seems to be looking very hard to something to occupy her hands with, she doesn't say anything if she d doesn't want to. No, y'all close enough that you deserve some kind of answer to that, and yeah, the short answer is I dropped out. I feel like there's a longer answer behind that, and Skyla nods along in agreement. Well, yeah, it usually is, right? My folks weren't exactly supportive. She mentioned that before, but didn't go into a lot of details. Not a lot of details to go into, actually. Got the kind of parents who call me a dyke when they found out my first kiss was Sarah Hendrick from 4-H. Ugh, that's not fantastic. When I said I wanted to head up north for school, they weren't big of fans of that, so that I was either to do it that airway or was on my own. So I took every penny I'd saved up and got a bus to New York. And the rest is history? The rest is history. The thing is about history is I got a strange way of continuing to write itself. Want to spend some time with the kitties? Yes. I'm curious. So we got a heart and a half with her already. Uh, I guess let's. Uh, what do we? So we got. We can talk to Stella. There's a garage. Can't figure. Hmm. There's no people because there's the Dean, Sarah, Mal. The dean. In school administration offices, I live by the warm, buzzing glow of fluorescent overhead constantly on. Come here usually means dealing with grades or records, so you try and avoid it as much as possible. Not to mention having to deal with the dean students. You hate the guy. You can see the silhouette of Dean pacing back and forth inside his office, but the door's locked. Looks like he doesn't want any visitors right now. Fuck with Mars. Professor Marvis so, uh, teaches the record technology course at Mount Eternia. He's known for being a rigorous teacher as well as a student scholar of the 20th century hip hop and rap. <laughs> so, were you good students at? Gotta feed that need for self assurance, somebody. Well, you kind of have a natural base level of insecurity that you need to maintain. 
Barbara seems to find this particular comment extremely amusing. True for all of us. You're fine soon to have, buddy. Gotta ask a lot of quick questions and stuff. Can't say that about everyone. So what's he doing this summer? Can't get away, give away the game too much, buddy. You'll see us professors as regular humans soon enough. Oh, not even a little hint? Well, rumor might that be a certain rap artist is getting the producer for this latest album. Rumor might be involved in me in some capacity. Damn, why is he teaching at a place like Mount Eternia? Marvin shrugs and looks around grinning. Probably the fresh air. How did I do in your class? This class. You did alright trying your best and all that. You are in fact trying your best, but also this class is hard. I think maybe you had a time with it. It ain't the same as just being hard. You're not, you're not sure you get, get the distinction. All a matter perspective, buddy. Guess we can go talk to... Hmm. You know, let's talk to Serva. Serva Hamond is a sophomore majoring. Actually, not sure exactly sure what they're majoring in. But they're incredibly successful streamer, maybe? You're not actually sure. So, how was the year so far? Can't complain. Come see, come saw. What? French, my dude. Took an elective course online. Oh, you think come see, come saw. Same pun. Yeah, my, yeah, my dude. That's the crap. Anyways, decent year. Got a lot of anxiety buzzing around, but I'm dealing. So, how's their anxiety? Serval shrugs and makes a seesaw motion with her hands. Could be better, could be worse. Don't have any issues with stuff online. It's th the meat space stuff that always gets me. Gets all shaky and my stomach decides to hurl all of a sudden. Sounds really inconvenient. It is what it is. You either roll with it or it rolls with you, you know? Maybe? Anyways, thanks for letting me talk about it. Got a good heart in you. So, what have they been up to lately? You know, usual. Got a bunch of projects on the burn at all times. Putting together an album of experimental electro noise grind grindcore trip punk. You do know what most of those words mean individually. It's like a completely subversion subversion of the system. The system of music uh, musical listenability, mostly. But it's cool. Got a bunch of fans that are totally into that stuff. So are they okay? It looks like they got something on their minds. So Rod glances around the room with eyes wide. Hey, have you ever, like, wondered about reality? No? Not really, you don't think. Well, I've been thinking about it constantly. Like, someone on stream asked me something. So, well, what the heck is... What is this heck... It, it, what if this shit is all someone else's dream? Got, got me me messed up. Almost had a breakdown with, like, tens of people. Do they want to talk about it? Nah, man, I want to get high and forget about it. I don't, but Sarah does. <laughs> Which is probably a good sign I shouldn't do that, huh? Yeah, you think they're right. <sighs> and this sucks. Wanna play video games? Sure, why not? Oh, heck, dope, I got this great one. It's like a horror visual novel. Gonna love it. Sarah spends a few minutes rummaging around their stuff while to earning with a dusty looking game cartridge. Of course, we gotta play it after dark. Why? Because it's obviously scarier that way, Lambo. He sat down in bed to wait while the light slowly fades away. So you're ready for this? I hear that game gave like six people heart attack. <laughs> six people heart attacks in Japan. Maybe it's Australia? You think you're ready? You've spent a few hours playing what is honestly one of the dullest experiences you've ever had. Nothing scary ever happens. Yeah, that kind of sucks. At least the mascot horror game has- at least crappy mascot horror has jump scares. Well, maybe next time. Are you feeling any better now? It's about shrugs. I don't know, maybe. Just being here gets inside your head, you know? Don't they leave for classes? You'd just rather not in the dorm all the time. Nah, I mostly just run out for snacks in the middle of the night. Do most of my classes online. I feel like I'm exactly a rigorous academic. Mostly focus on the grind set. But, but the grind set kind of sucks too. The longer it goes on, the worse I feel about it. It's like, on reality. On reality. I mean, I, I, they're, they mean they're feeling like that? It's about nuts. Yeah, like, is this world the real one? That kind of stuff. Because not gonna lie, this is a pretty okay gig, I guess. 
But it feels a little too good sometimes. Or maybe that's just the social isolation talking. You're not sure what to say to this, so you just keep quiet and said, let him continue. Whatever, not like I can do much about it right now. Should you go to bed soon? Without another word, Sabah stands up and shoves their chalk, their chair back to their desk before retreating to the bathroom. It's late at night, so probably should just sleep to the next day. Look at Amazon Prime is over for you. With that, I think I'm going to save and. I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, month of your lives. May the stars forever guide your path, forever might lead you into the future. Bye bye, everybody, and see you next time.